Does this sound familiar? You sit down to start planning your script or book and you spend 30 minutes wading through pages and pages just looking for that one note. You're watching and reading a ton of great things but keep forgetting what they were. You try doing research on your topic but you struggle to keep track of all of those bookmarks and analysis. And most importantly, you feel overwhelmed by all the different writing rules and feel like you're constantly trying to serve them and change your idea because of them. Well, let me introduce you to the Ultimate Screenplay Planner. This is a comprehensive Notion template that I've created for writers like you and me. It allows you to seamlessly capture ideas, plot scenes, develop characters, manage resources, and track your writing progress all within one convenient digital platform. So let's take a look. So here we have the ultimate screenplay planner and just making our way down the page, we have an area to capture and process. We have our actual project pages. We have our topic hubs where we can capture research. We have our notes and ideas and our reading. And to go through each part of this template, I'm going to be using a streetcar named Desire as a example. So I'm going to be Tennessee Williams for the day. Part one capture methods. So first of all, let's explore capturing information into the template. For example, let's say our name is Tennessee Williams and we've been recommended a play to watch. We can come to the capture section here and we can hit read later and we can capture a play. So let's say the play was Miss Julie, which I think was a influence for a streetcar named Desire. So we can add Miss Julie here and then we can come to the different templates and this is a play. And now just by doing that, we've captured Miss Julie here. And then if we come down to the reading section in our read later section, we have that recommendation waiting for us. Let's also say that we're out and about walking around and inspiration hits us and we have an idea for projects that we're working on. Well, just by using our phone and creating a iPhone widget for Notion, we can use this dedicated capture page to now use those buttons on the go. And let's say we want to capture a note and idea, and this is for Blanche to cover her face from the light. We can capture that light just like this, add that it's a note, and now we can also send this to our particular project. So this is for a streetcar named Zaya project and come out of that and now that's instantaneously being captured on the go. Let's also say we're online and we've found this article about New Orleans and the street music of the 1950s and we think this would be really interesting for a topic we've been researching. Well, we can also capture this straight from the web just by using the Save to Notion Clipper and I'm gonna use that same sort of buttons arrangement of read later, reading or read and let's say I'm currently reading this so I'm gonna uh, add the title, I can change it if I want. I can say what this is via our templates. So this is a article. I can write the author if I want to. And then I'm gonna create a new topic straight from here. So this is New Orleans. Add this topic straight from the web clipper and then I'm gonna save this page. And now that's been captured to that topic. Let's say I also take on that recommendation for Miss Julie and I start to read it. Well, if I read it on my Kindle and I start taking highlights and notes, I can then send that straight to the Ultimate Screenplay Planner using the Readwise integration. And then we can process them notes just like so. So you'll see if I come to the highlights section, I have this Miss Julie page that's been created with the different highlights um, that I've added. And what I'm gonna do is just create a Notion copy in our notes database. So I'm just gonna call this the exact same name, Miss Julie. And you can see I have that Miss Julie highlights waiting for me in this section. And what I'm gonna do is just create a direct copy in our notes database. So I'm just gonna call the exact same name, Miss Julie. I'm gonna hit new, and then you'll see it gets processed from our highlights. And now all I have to do is come over to the reading section and I can open up this page. And just to process it, all I'm gonna do is come and find a play template. And then you'll see that gives it the right source and it gets sent, it gets moved from our reading process section. And now it lives within our current reading play here as under Miss Julie. And so it gets processed from our process section and it finds its way in our reading section amongst all of our other reading. And if we open up the page, we can always check back to the original Readwise highlights here. Part two, topic hubs. So let's take a look at the topic section of the Ultimate Screenplay Planner. 
So you can see here under topics, we have all of our active topics. So we have one for AI and seldom, love, New Orleans. And then we also have subtopics. So under AI, I have AI therapy. Now, if we navigate down to the New Orleans section where we captured that piece of information, you'll see what we have. So we have a related topic section, and then we have all notes and ideas, and we have reading. So we have that article, and if I open this up, you'll see we have a link to the original article. So taking a look at this uh, topic that has a bit more information, you can see that we have any related topics and then we can jump straight into them from this page. So these become sort of a connected tissue of knowledge. And then you can see we have some notes and ideas and we can again jump to these notes just by clicking them. And then we have all of our reading and again we can open up these different notes from this topic. So what's great about this is this single page becomes almost a wiki about all of the references, information, things that have resonated with you all from one page. Part three, projects. So now let's jump into the thing that we've all been waiting for, which is where we're actually going to do the work for our projects. So we have this project section here, active and completed projects, and we have our streetcar named desire projects. So if I open this up, you'll see we have a few things to get through. So first of all, we have a section to break our story. So we have at the top the current premise that we've defined. And then also we have these four toggles to sort of start um, laying down the foundations of our story. So we might go through different iterations of what our logline is. Um, we might try to decide what the key theme is of our story. We'll look at story events or generally just the general outline in this beginning stages of the script or book. And then also we have a just a simple area to add characters and how they might be interconnected or conflicting with each other. And then on the right hand side, we have easy access to all of those um, ideas, notes, research that we've been capturing. And you can see we have that note that we captured from earlier, which is Blanche to cover her face from the light. So for example, if I was working on a log line and I wanted to quickly uh, glance over at this save to notion clip that I took from Wikipedia, about jazz, then I can do that and you'll see it opens in this sort of side panel view. So I can take a look at the jazz note while I'm also thinking about um, the elements of breaking the story. Now, what if I've been making research on a particular topic before I began the project and I then wanna pull in all of those notes? Well, I can do that by adding a related topic. So if I add a related topic and let's say we have that New Orleans topic, I'm gonna add it here and then once it loads, you'll notice we get that New Orleans uh, note. So now you can see under the article and paper uh, grouping, we have that take a tour of Bourbon Street music and we can now bring that note in based on the topic. At the bottom here, we also have a writer's toolbox. And again, this is at the right hand side so we can open this up in a side panel and uh, sort of peek at it. But what this is, is all of the different structures, all of the different character arcs, genres, writing exercises, and they're here for you to reference and glance at uh, whenever you're working on breaking your story or eventually the other parts of your project. And so if you're ever feeling overwhelmed with the different writing rules, you can just uh, reference them and know that you have them there whenever you need them. So once you start to progress in your story, you can come down to the final two sections of the screenplay planner. So we have a character web. So first of all, we can plot the different characters on our story based on uh, their different story functions. So you can say, see we have here our hero, Blanche Dubois. Um, we've added what her archetype is, so she's an artist clown. Um, and then we've got the key sort of details about her character. So what are her weaknesses, her need, her desire, and then her variation on the theme that we've defined. You can see we have our opponent, Stanley, and we have all of his information. We have Stella, and we also have Mitch. But what's great about this is we can actually open up these pages and now these can become dedicated profiles for this particular character. So we can add a headshot and then we can also capture, again, ideas, inspiration, research to this page and from this page. And then finally, and my favorite part of the Ultimate Screenplay Planner and the reason I created this template is I now have a digital beat board um, that we can uh, start adding different story beats to. Um, and so this uh, particular version uses uh, save the cats method of the beat board. And so we have things like the opening image, theme stated, catalyst, debate. Um, but what's great about this is you can actually create your own beat board based on whatever sort of story structure you like to follow. And so again, Using these sort of cards, we can add different beats. So we have here, the opening image is first seen when they go to New Orleans apartment. 
and then we can add the slug line and then the, the details and this is again based on what Blake Snyder wrote in his book Save the Cat. So we have the general action, so the sight, sounds and smells of 1940s or Orleans and then we can see what actually happens. We meet all the main players. The main conflict is Stanley throws a pack of meat at Stella and then she runs after him to the bowling alley. And then we can go through the different acts. So in act two, we're gonna have the B story, fun and games, midpoint, act two B, bad guys close in, all the way to Dark Knights of the Soul. And then in act three, we have break into three, finale and final image. And so if you're already using a kind of beat board um, in, in physical form, you can now have a digital version that you can use on the go and uh, you can more easily manipulate the cards, moving them across, adding new ones at the drop of a hat. So again, links are down below in the description where you can find a version of this template. And if you found this video useful, you might also want to check out my Notion for Screenwriters video. And it's my bundle template, which includes both the Ultimate Screenplay Planner, but also there's a habit tracker designed specifically for writers. There's things about how to do networking and career development. So if you found this useful, definitely check that out. And thank you for watching this video. And please do consider subscribing. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.